getting after it. Get after it. Every day. to another vlog. It feels like forever ago since I last made my vlog, and in part, that's because it was quite a while. Uh, so, last vlog I did, I was a ninth quarter student in student clinic, and I was explaining how so much has changed here on campus. We've begun this hybrid mixed approach where all of the lectures were online still, and then all the labs had begun in person in addition to some clubs as well being in person. And that's still largely true to this extent. We're still having lectures online, labs are in person, we're still having clubs and things of that nature. But the only thing that's changed, <laughs> the only thing, I feel like so much has changed since the last time I saw you guys, but is that I'm now a 10th quarter student and I am going to graduate in just one year away. Well, technically, if you want to get specific with it, I graduate in 407 days, 21 hours, and 45 minutes. But hey, you know, it's not like I'm counting or anything. <laughs> All right. All right, that'll do. So, I am here at the outpatient clinic now. I graduated from the student clinic outpatient clinic right here, this little brick building behind me. And here at the outpatient clinic, I get to see real people that are actually out in the real world. So I'm seeing people from the community here in Marietta, and I am loving it. Why? Because it's real people with real problems, and I get to get real results with them. It's definitely a amazing experience, and so I'll be here pretty much for the next seven, eight months or so. But anyways, I have to head in the clinic now because I have some patients, so let's get to it. Bench table, got the chair, knee chest, high low, there's the notes. So the patients just come through here. Okie doke, back to the apartment. Oh, so you want to talk about the fish tank story? Okay. So the fish tank, yeah, I guess basically just before the start of quarantine, um, it just didn't end up working out. So we had to disassemble the fish tank um, and just move on from it. Uh, super sad to get rid of it. I love this fish. I love those animals. It was a privilege really to be able to take care of them. They're on the better places now. Um, and hey, you know what? I don't consider it the end of my reef keeping career. I really truly do believe that eventually I will uh, create multiple other reef tanks here in the future. Uh, some of which hopefully that will get documented here on this camera. And um, but yeah, it's super sad. But um, you know what? It is what it is. It's what was best at the time. And um, we're just moving forward from it. And so I'm so blessed and fortunate to still have been able to have some opportunities to be able to travel and go to seminars to advance my learning. Uh, most notably, uh, me and some friends, we rented a van and drove all the way from Atlanta to the great state of Iowa, which happens to be like a 12 to 13 hour drive, not a big deal. It was a lot of fun and definitely an interesting experience for sure. But we went there for a Gonstead seminar and so it was really awesome. We all learned a lot and I actually got to meet a few subscribers there, which was really cool. And also being in Iowa, just outside of Davenport, we got to go tour uh, Palmer College, which was super awesome because I've never gotten the opportunity to visit the campus before. And so I got to meet a few students there that kind of took me on a little tour. We got to see around and I really liked it. It's a great school for sure and it was a great visit. But don't let them fool you though. Life University is still the best chiropractic school in the entire world. <laughs> I'm kidding, all right? Well, the view box, this is a old plain film x-ray view box. It is 14 by 36 inches here. And so this is where you put full spine films on. It was donated to me by a Gonstead doc. Thank you so much, Dr. Frazetta. And this is used for the intention of being able to teach to the club. And so what I've been doing is having a few like small group nights where I'll invite some students over and we'll go ahead and we'll practice reviewing, analyzing and interpreting the x-rays. And so it's just incredible experience for these students. I love teaching this material as I love to film. And, um, and it seems like students are getting a lot out of it. So I'll show you the box. Let me get an x-ray real quick and we'll turn this thing on. Let's see. Wonderful. 
All right, wonderful. So, as you guys can see, we got the full spine here. You got the skull all the way down. Here's the pelvis right here. And what is that? <gasps> That's a zipper. <laughs> So yeah, so this is plain film. A lot of offices now use digital. Actually, the vast majority of offices use digital nowadays, but you can still use plain film. It's a great way to be able to practice because you can draw the lines, you can see it a lot more better, you can draw on it, you can erase. It's really great for learning. Um, the view box. Now for some adjusting gadgets. What's going on, guys? What's up, bud? Are you guys replacing uh, the wood here? Yeah. Look, look. All right, appreciate it, guys. Okay, so these are all my gadgets laid out here. You guys are probably already familiar, may have seen this before. This is the cervical chair uh, speeder board. And so it's brought to you by the Gonstead Adjusting Academy. Many people wondered where you can get this. There is the website right there. If you guys want to check out and get one of these bad boys. I absolutely love this. It's really good for practicing your speed with the cervical chair. You've probably seen that in some other videos. What you may not have seen is this. What in the heck is all this stuff? So these are all grip strengthening exercisers. I don't know if I talked about this in a video before, but we have all these different gadgets. They all do different things. I might make a video about it, but I use this every day. It's really great for your grip strength, which really helps you with your palpation and adjusting skills. I believe I talked about that before. Then there's this, which is a tennis ball <laughs> cut in half. This is another really good tool for a cervical chair or just really strengthening the fingertips. You can put this on a wall like such and you're essentially just kind of thrusting into the tennis ball. It's really good for also getting the grip strength up as well. There's another little tool there. And someone you might not have seen before is this guy. Whoa, whoa, Alan, Alan, what are you doing? I told you to be on camera, dude. Why are you just, ugh. Dude, sit up, man. Oh, well. My man, Alan, <laughs> um, he is my adjusting smarty. He's an adjusting dummy, but you know, he's right there. And Alan here, again, he is my smart adjusting buddy here. So I use him primarily to practice my side posture. Pretty much every adjustment, really. He's honestly, he's great. He loves when I adjust you, don't you, Alan? But so I believe this is used for like grappling or, you know, for jujitsu, MMA, kind of fighting and stuff like that as, as a practice dummy to kind of like roll with. He's filled with a lot of like pillow stuffer and sand. And so it kind of like mimics, I guess, like the weight of a five, how tall are you, Alan? Five eight, five eight individual. See, here's my man, Alan, in the side posture position. We'll be adjusting a right PI on Mr. Alan. And now here's Mr. Alan set up on the knee chest table. Good setup, Alan. Cervical chair. This one's a little bit more challenging because you can see Alan's got a little forward head carriage, don't you, Alan? Good. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? I know. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so I just got out of the clinic. It is now dark outside. It is, I'm here in the parking lot and it is very quiet and eerie. I got the flashlight on here, but I guess another thing I'll include here are some leadership roles and responsibilities that I've taken apart here now um, as I'm my third year in chiropractic school. And you know, leadership to me has just always been roles that were kind of just offered up to me. I, I don't know if it comes naturally or if I just naturally kind of like exuded toward those types of opportunities. But if you look all the way back from high school to being involved particularly with sports and football as a team captain to, you know, in college I was involved with different clubs and organizations as well. I talked about like my pre-med club that I was really involved with as well as a fraternity on, on, in college. And then now we look here in chiropractic school, I'm involved in so, so much more than I could ever really imagine. And so, you know, recently I just became the Gonset Club president, for example, which believe me, it's not all glamorous, quite honestly. <laughs> you know, I'm more honestly uh, humbled by the experience more than anything. But it is really cool to look back at it because, you know, as a first quarter student, that was a huge goal of mine was to get to this point. And so it is really, uh, I, I really do appreciate looking back and to see where I am now that I am that person that first quarter me used to be inspired by and now I get that opportunity to inspire other people and really my goal is to inspire you as well. I hope that that's what this is all about, you know. 
and you know, just involved with some other different, you know, if you know me well, you know I'm involved with a lot of other different clubs and organizations and doing a lot of things behind the scenes here on this campus. Um, and, you know, just recently I just joined on as a board of advisors uh, for a, a global non-for-profit uh, organization and so that's been a whole new experience and journey for me and just a lot of other different ventures that I've taken on. And I think whenever you look back at it, it's kind of like the real main purpose of why I'm sharing this with you is because I think sometimes we underestimate what we're actually capable of, you know, and I, I think if you can just set that vision and dream for whatever you want to accomplish whenever you're coming into school or really tackling anything wherever you're at right now, it's like set and set it high and get after it and then you'll accomplish that and you can look back at what you did and then that'll inspire you and motivate you to then go out and accomplish more and more and make more of an impact. And that's just kind of what I'm realizing right now for myself. And so I guess if I had to say anything, I'm just really grateful and really appreciative that I've Got to meet so many amazing people here so far on this campus, and um, I'm just continually inspired and humbled uh, to be part of such great clubs and organizations here on campus. Maybe a lot, yeah. I was considering making it into like its own like weekend workshop thing, but at the same time I know there's kind of a lot, it's a lot of axing of us and yeah. to put it together and things of that nature. That's going to be the plan. You're welcome to be in it here. You want to be in a cube too? Nah man, I didn't get my makeup on today. I'm all good. Alright, I got you. All right, but some things that haven't changed are candidate training, where we are training some young officers how to be Gonstead docs uh, and Gonstead officers. Coop, my man, he's the VP. We also got Jared, who's uh... Something. Thanks for watching the Jeeves Stage Show. Kevin, come here. What is it? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> so that's a wrap, dog. That's a wrap, y'all. I rap it, rap and I vlog. And I'm sharing my journey with the world, but I ain't close to being done yet. Cause I'll be back soon, yeah, I'll be back soon with some really dope content. Cause that's a wrap, but you rap with this vloggity vlog. But don't worry, y'all, cause I'll be back with more. Peace. <laughs>